a few for another session on and this is a press test concrete today we are going to analyze the press test concrete pane okay when the tendon is plus parabolic with parabolical profile okay so how when tendon is provided with parabolic shape how we are going to calculate the stresses that we are going to see now today okay so this is the title the tendon with parabolic profile this is typical beam we have taken okay here it is the main this is central axis okay and this is tendon tendon is placed in the parabolic shape and here the press stresses forces p is to break stresses forces going to apply on this tendon okay parabolic tendon and this is h at the central at the central distance uh, uh, from cg to the tendon that we are going to call as a dip okay dip of that uh, uh, dip for that profile cable so wc here we are going to consider that per unit run load transmitted to the beam okay so when you are going to provide the tendon initially when you are going to apply the po forces okay we are going to consider that the load transmitted to the beam is this in this shape but the moment when you are going to cut the tendon okay this tendon is going to counteract the pressure okay so pressure is this now you can see a wc per unit area load transfer to the tendon so this load wc is transmitted on the beam and here this load wc per unit area load transmitted to the tendon and this due to the tendon the bending moment is see here the beam is subjected with the udl if you if you can see here if beam is subjected to the udl the beam is going to bend like this the beam is going to bend like this due to self weight of beam okay and the external load the beam is going to bend like this but when you are going to provide the parabolic tendon what advantage we are going to take here the advantage is that when this tendon is provided when you are going to cut this tendon is tried to exert the pressure okay through the te this tendon okay the tendon is going to try to exert the pressure in the opposite direction so this is the wc per unit area load transmitted to the beam and this is load wc per unit run transmitted to the tendon so when the force is going to transmit to the tendon the tendon is going to behave like this the tendon is going to behave like this and this is try to counteract these forces counteract to these forces and this is same concept which you have used in a that load balancing concept when tendon is a bent tendon simple thing here in tendon when we have seen the tendon is provided when a beam is subjected with the point load the bending profile of tendon is like this okay and the tendon we have provided like this because the bending moment shape is like say, same so here when beam is subjected with the high huge udl in that case the beam is going to bend like this so same way we are going to keep the shape of the tendon like this because if you are going to provide the shape of tendon like this okay this is going to counteract the external external load which are going to come on the beam okay so this is going to counteract so when you are going to deal with the calculation of moment we are going we, we are going to consider the less load okay that we are going to consider because this tendon parabolic tendon is going to counteract exert the pressure and that pressure is going to counteract this external load okay so this is the main concept of the tendon with parabolic profile so is here horizontal reaction at end each, each end of the cable so here you can see so two pressures here this is px and this is py if you are going to consider the px horizontal force is going to act here so horizontal force reaction at each end of the concrete that cable we are going to consider px is equal to w c l square by 8 this is nothing but a simple formula of w l square by 8 see what is formula of a simple beam is subjected with the udl so that formula m is equal to m is equal to w c l square by 8 okay if we are going to consider this is so if I'm going to write the M in the terms of force and eccentricity, 
So I can write here like this m is equal to p into h. If I'm going to calculate the force and moment at center, okay. So this h is a dip, p is a force. If I'm going to put this value here, so this force I'm going to consider p x. So if I'm going to put value of p x into h in this formula, so you're going to get this formula. So p x h you are going to take this side. So formula become w c into l square into at h. Okay. So where h is the dip of the cable already we have discussed. With a cable center below the end of the cable, so making the approximation, we have to consider that P X is equal to P. So that this value P X is we are going to consider as a P because the angle is very small. So that's why P X is equal to P. So here we are going to put the value. So P is equal to W C, the external load L square divided by H H. Okay, but how, when you are going to deal the value, when you are going to calculate the value, so how we are going to get this? So hence the parabolic tendon carrying a tension P will provide a uniform distributed load or pressure. So this W C you are going to calculate due to parabolic tendon. The parabolic tendon going to exert the pressure. So the amount of pressure that W C you are going to get. So this, at, if you are going to take W C this side and P this side, so at P H into L square. Okay. So hence parabolic tendon carrying already discussed. The net downward loading on the beam is therefore equal to W minus W C. So what happened by using this formula W C, which thing you have calculated? So this we have calculated value as a W C. So total load coming, U D L coming. This U D L value, if you are going to consider, and this value you have calculated W C. So net force you have to calculate, and net force here, the net force is a W minus W C. So now we are going to consider the beam is subjected with the only net pressure or net load W minus W C, and that thing we have taken here. Downward load on the beam therefore equal to W minus W C per unit run. Okay. Next. So after knowing the concept, see the concept is very clear here. Like load balancing concept is only we have used. For balancing the load means whatever the external load is coming, external uh, load is coming. That load we have to counteract. How we are going to counteract that load? That load we are going to counteract by providing the shape of tendon. Like that, the tendon is going to create extra extra pressure, and that pressure is going to counteract the external pressure. Okay, we are going to develop the forces in tendon like this by providing a tendon in a various shapes, like bent tendon. Like parabolic tendon, and it is based upon the bending moment diagram. If point load is there, we are going to put bent tendon. When the UDL is on the beam, you know the bending moment diagram. So we are going to provide the beam, uh, that uh, tendon in a parabolic shape. Okay, got it. Okay. So based upon this, now simple thing. Again, I am going to just revise. So whatever this is, W C W is here. We are we are interested to calculate the moment. Moment is equal to W L square by eight. So we have to calculate net W. So net W you are going to get. So net W this value you are going to get by this external load capital W minus W C W C. That is W C per unit run load transmitted to the tendon. And we have to calculate the net W. After getting the net W, the remaining procedure is the same. Okay, which we have seen in an earlier problem. So based upon this also we are going to see one problem. And to, to get the value of W C, this W C you are going to use. For, Uh, formula here W C is equal to 8 P H into L square. Here H 8 is a constant. P here that P here the pre-stressing force and H here the deep okay deep of the cable at center below the end of the uh, cable and L is the length of the beam. Okay, so by considering this, we are going to calculate value of W C. Now we are going to see one problem. See the power problem. Following figure shows a pre-stressing beam provided with an tendon having a parabolic profile. If the total external load on the beam is 40 kN per meter on the whole span, so they have given either W, okay, on the whole span. Calculate the extreme stresses for the mid section of the beam. So we have to calculate extreme stresses at mid section. Mid section means stresses at top and fiber. We have to calculate at this part. The tendon carries an pre-stressing force of 200 kN. So here they have given the pre-stressing force 200 kN. Length of beam they have given 6 meter. Okay. So first thing we are going to calculate the area. Okay. But because we are going to calculate the direct stresses, we know the formula for direct stresses P by. Okay. 
so for that we required a so cross section area of the beam 400 by 600 that is 2.4 into 10 raised to 5 section modulus bd square by 6 rectangle section so it is 400 into 600 square into 6 is equal to 2.4 into 10 raised to 7 so these are the preliminary things we required uh, area, uh, area and uh, section modulus of the beam so next year span of the tendon 6 meter and deep of needle that given 100 mm so we have we have converted that 100 mm into meter so that value here 0 0.1 meter sorry 100 mm we are going to convert into meter this is that value 0 0.1 meter so upward UTL provided by the cable so now we are to interest we are interested to calculate how much that external uh, that pressure exerted by the cable or tendon on the beam due to provision of the parabolic shape so this thing we have to calculate and this thing is the WC okay so this WC we are going to calculate WC formula 8 pH into L square so 8 constant 12 and 8 is the displacing force H is equal to 0.16 square so that value you have got 26.27 so whatever UDL coming the pressure you would have that or load exerted by this parabolic tender on the beam okay opposite direction to the external load that value you have calculated so this value you have got here 26.67 so now we have to calculate the net downward beam the net downward UDL on the beam so net downward so this is external load on the beam and the exerted uh, pressure exerted due to this parabolic tender we have calculated 26.67 so we have to calculate net net pressure on the beam so net pressure here 40 minus 26.27 you can see here this is 40 minus this thing we have calculated 26.27 so net downward load on beam is 30 13.33 so this 13.33 is now the UDL on the beam so for this UDL only we are going to calculate the bending moment so this is this beam is simply supported beam so bending on diagram W square by 8 so 13.33 into 10 to, uh, into 10 to, uh, into 6 square divided by 8 will be the maximum bending moment so that is 59.99 okay so now based upon this we are going to calculate the direct stresses and the bending moment stresses due to the bending stress due to the bending moment so direct stresses already we know the formula P by A force divided by area positive value so here 1200 into 10 raised to 3 2.4 into 10 raised to 5 so that value become plus 5 newton per mm square okay as I my extreme stress due to the bending moment plus minus m by z so moment just we have calculated for net UDL so that value 59.99 into 10 raised to 6 so that value become 2 point uh, that uh, divided by 2.4 into 10 raised to 7 section modulus so that val value become plus minus 2.5 so after getting this we are going to calculate now stresses at top fiber and bottom fiber of the beam so stresses at top fiber you know the formula for that top stresses and bottom stresses plus p by a direct stress plus m by z because this is plus here this part this part our neutral axis so 5 plus 2.5 is 7.5 newton per m square and stresses at bottom here p by a and minus m by z so that value become now 2.5 newton per m square so this value this is cross section and this value is you have shown in the diagram so this is cross section of B so this is density that position of the tendon they have given central distance okay so this is diagram for direct stresses this is bending stresses and these are the next stresses and if at last if you are going to see the cross section of B uh, say mid section that mid section whole section is in completion okay so this how we are going to take advantage by providing a tendonic parabolic shape it is resulting to reduce the amount of bending moment here and due to that the section will in a compression so there is a no tension in a member okay so that's about the analysis when tendon is plus the parabolically okay so we are going to stop here next lecture we are going to see the strength concept in a analysis of pre-stress concrete beam Okay, thank you.